Hi, Dick Rochford here, pilot trainer for PA-46 aircraft, all variants. This is the Piper M600 Meridian. And today I want to talk a little bit about uh, setting up for cruise. Uh, we're on our way from Flagler, Palm Coast, to Easton, Maryland. And uh, the weather's pretty good, so we have only a map displayed on the, on the MFD. Uh, we're about to level flight level 270 and uh, 200 to go. Uh, we're uh, using, for our setup, we're using the power charts from the Piper Nine manual. Four zero zero whiskey, clear right destination. We're using normal direct, recommended uh, cruise. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate that. Uh, because this aircraft uh, uh, is uh, temperature limited and uh, to use high speed cruise according to Pratt Whitney, would involve running beyond recommended temperatures. Now, this isn't dangerous. Contact Jackson around 126 it would cause meters. exceedances. 2635, good day, Delta 638. But it would enhance, or uh, I should say, uh, bring you to, uh, or use up the engine sooner than the, uh, the service interval uh, suggests. So it's up to the pilot owner, it's up to the owner, of course, uh, how he or she wants to run it. Uh, but there you have it. Now here we are at 270, outside air temperature is minus 24. The chart is calibrated in outside air temperature. It's, uh, uh, let's see here, based on altitude and outside air temperature, we then simply set the power. So it's it's a two-axis chart. And it's simpler than prior uh, prior power charts. And, uh, uh, we're doing a 1,800 feet per minute, Jeff, uh, 1150. Once we get set up, Roger, what we'll want to do is uh, allow the engine to stabilize and then write down our ECTM in the uh, engine condition trend monitoring book which is of course available from me Dick Rochefort the purpose of this and of course many may know already on the G3000 if there's a card in the data uh, slot the upper slot on the MFD it will record digitally the uh, ECTM but the reason we want to do this uh, in an analog way is because it allows the pilot and eventually the mechanic to have uh, uh, just a quick look. Obviously, if you have a card in there, and I do recommend it, a data card in the slot, it will um, enhance your uh, data. It's a lot of data that's collected there, and it's a CVS file, so it'll go right into it. An Excel spreadsheet, no One, problem. Uh, three, three point three. Good day. Uh, but three, here you three, have three. it. So this will allow you to know uh, fuel flow, uh, ITT, and, and other things. So if you always run to normal cruise, the only thing that will vary is density altitude, and that's very helpful for uh, engineers and mechanics. This is Dick Rochford. Fly safely. Train off it.